Good evening, class. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Miss Ana Veronica, good evening. Guillermo Antonio, good evening. Noé Hernández, good evening. Dani Alberto, good evening. Thank you, class. Today is Friday. And hey, Guillermo, thank you. Okay, in two minutes, we are going to get started. But let me see. I think that you have been working in the, in the platform, right? Yes, and the ones who are here are okay. Let me check Noe. Okay, let me see. Okay. Noe, you have worked the 96% of the platform very well, and the others in here are okay. Yeah, let me see. Guillermo Francis, no, Guillermo. I, I was reading here Francisco, but it is not. Mm -hmm. Daniel, Hi, Daniel, you are Danny 100% in, in Homework Week 3. Very well, congratulations. And Guillermo also 100% in week number three. And Miss Veronica, no problem. But Jonathan, in two minutes, is going to complete the evaluations, okay? Because Jonathan has not been working during the week. Hello, Miss Filomena. It is exactly the time to get started. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. I am so happy that all of you are here. And let's get started because today is Friday and it is our class number 15, okay? Only five more classes. And I'm going to share my, my screen with you right now. Remember, tomorrow, Saturday, some of you don't work, okay? Or at least you don't have a class. So here, I'm going to share with you class. <clears throat> and today is September the 9th, 9th of the 9th, the 9th day of the 9th month of the year 2022, right? What a coincidence. And here we have, okay, for our agenda, the greetings as every single day, we're going to have a short feedback. And actually the class is going to be a feedback because we're going to be working with the vocabulary in general that we have been studying during this unit. We're going to read the objectives and the pre-task is to describe the different departments in your workplace, okay? And what they do, what the departments, the staff in, in that department that you work do, the activities, the duties. The pre-task to describe the different departments in your workplace and what they do. And the task, the highlight is, as I told you, the practice, the vocabulary of the unit. Then. Here, the objectives. Who wants to help me reading the objectives? Only one, one volunteer. Hello, Frank. Okay. Who is going to help me reading? <gasps> Come on. Don't be shy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to wait until one of you decides to help me reading the objectives for today's class. It is class 15, you have to practice. Okay. Who? Hello. Hello. Okay. Who's going to read? Uh, specific, specific objective. Good evening. Participants will be able to describe the difference department in your workplace and what they do. Class objective. Participant will have a, will be able to participate vocabulary. Thank you so much. You have to practice reading, writing, and speaking. So thank you, Miss Filomena. Specific objective. As your classmate said, you as participants will be able, be able that you can do something to be able to, okay? to describe the different departments in your workplace and what they do. 
That's what I told you that we're going to have a general feedback of the unit. And the class objective is that you as participants will be able to practice vocabulary, okay? Microphones, please turn them off because um, if you watch the video tomorrow of the class, you're going to see, to listen to what happens, okay? So participants will be able to practice vocabulary in class. And here, a reminder of the homeworks and evaluations. And I was telling you at the beginning that some of you are with no activity in the platform, but I'm sure that you're going to do it tonight. Okay, so no problem on that. But most of you have 100% of the activities. Just two, I think, have 96% and the others 100%. Congratulations. And here we have a feedback. Let's brainstorm. If you remember yesterday class, we were practicing with the prepositions in, on, and at, but we were focusing on these three words as prepositions of time, yes? And what else did we practice yesterday? Do you remember? Let's see, what did you practice yesterday? <clears throat> Did you read something like a like an email or something like that? Do you remember? Did you read something? Yes or no? Did you read an email in the manual? Okay, if you are going to answer, please activate your microphone. What else did you do yesterday in class? ¿Qué más hicieron ayer en clase? Se recuerda. Okay, did you read an email? Leyeron algún correo o algo así? Something like that. Checking your manual, the activities that you did. Don't do that to me, please. Don't make me cry. No se recuerda si leyeron algún correo en el manual. Yes. Okay. So you, you were reading, you practice reading an email. Yes. And what did you do after reading the email? What else um, did you do? You completed? Okay. Um, it's, uh, the email? It's hey, Fatima. Fatima. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Complete Fatima. the email, email using preposition of time, compare answer with, uh, with a classmate. Okay. Uh, and exercise you? number six. Uh -huh. 63. Okay, very well. And you compared answers very well. Excellent. That was the highlight yesterday, right? And um, what else did you do yesterday? Did you ask and answer questions in the groups? About what time? Yes or no? No practicaron preguntas con what time. The, the information questions. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, WH, information yeah. questions. What do you do have to do at work this week? Okay. Um, this month and this year. Okay, excellent. Very well. So this is what you did yesterday. And here we have the WH question words. If you remember what has double function, we can use what to ask for information about something, but also you can use what to ask about confirmation or repetition. Where, when we ask about a place or location, who, 
is used to ask about people, singular or plural, no problem. One person, two people, three people, no problem, okay? And why is used to ask about a reason, a motive, for example. Why don't you want to talk today? Which is used to ask about an option or alternative with limited possibilities. And here we have the structure of what time do you, okay? Questions with what time do you, information questions. What time plus do or does plus the subject, the verb, is used in the base form in the question. En la pregunta, el verbo se utiliza en su forma natural, ¿verdad? Tal cual como es. And the complement and obviously the question mark. For example, what time do you take a shower? I take a shower at, and you answer with your information. What time does she take a shower? She takes a shower. Okay, and we complete the information with someone else's okay, information that we got. Por eso lo hicieron en equipos, right? And here, you have been during the week building what time question. What time do you blah, blah? What time does he or what time does she? The verb in the base form, the complement and question mark. Okay, some examples are, what time do you check your social networks? What time do you have a coffee break? What time does he check social networks? Or what time does he have a coffee break? Okay. And you replace do and you write does if it is he, she, or it. Okay. Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? No questions. Okay, and this is about the prepositions of time in, on, at. And we said that the uses of these prepositions of time at is for a precise time. For example, at nine o'clock, at 5 p.m., at 10 and a quarter, at noon, at 12, 10, okay? In for months, years, centuries, and long periods. In July, in March, in August, in October, November, years. In 2020, we had a lockdown worldwide. En el año 2020, tuvimos, okay, una cuarentena en todo el mundo. Yes or no? Okay. Centuries and long periods. On for the days of the week, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. And we use on when we mention the dates. Para mencionar las fechas, utilizamos on. And these are the examples that I shared with you. If you remember, okay, three of you were helping me yesterday reading this information. At, for precise time, for example, at five o'clock, at 11.30, at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at Christmas, at the moment. In, for months, years, centuries, and long periods. In July, in summer, in winter, in spring, you may say also more specifically, in the summer. In 1980, in the 1980s, in the next century, in the ice age, in the past, in the future, for dates, days and dates, on Sunday, on Tuesdays, acá plural, los martes, on Sunday, el domingo, on March the 6th, on December 25th, 2012, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve. Les hacía la mención del caso, por ejemplo, Christmas, si no lleva la palabra day, vamos a utilizar at, at Christmas. Pero si decimos el día de Navidad, ¿ok? Christmas Day, vamos a utilizar la preposición on, ¿ok? Is that clear? And now that I have been talking too much, it is the time for you to talk. Prepositions of time practice. 
you're going to ask and answer these questions in the breakout rooms. When is your birthday? What time do you have lunch? Who is your boss? When do people celebrate the Independence Day in the USA? When do you celebrate the Independence Day in El Salvador? What time do you get back home from work? When do people celebrate Christmas Day? When do people celebrate Christmas Eve Day? When do people celebrate Christmas? Christmas Day and Christmas. You have to provide the two answers, okay? When do people celebrate New Year's Day? When do people celebrate St. Valentine's Day? When do we celebrate Mother's Day? Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to share this with you right now here via WhatsApp for your convenience, okay? Hey, okay, hold it. What happened over here? I'm kind of crazy. Okay. After, after I share this information with you, I'm going to take your attendance, okay? Now, yes. Okay, there you are. And now that you have the information, I'm going to say your name and you please answer present or here I am, okay? Today is our class number 15. Ana Marlene? Here I am. Thank you, Miss. Ana Veronica? Present. Great. Barbara Azucena? Okay, Barbara. Carlos Miguel? Present. Great, sir. Clelia? Present. Thank you, Miss. Dani? Dani Alberto? Yeah. Great. David Emanuel? Present. Thank you. Very responsible. Filomena Luz? Present. Francisco Enrique Saldaña? Francisco Enrique Saldaña absent. Okay. Guillermo Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, great. Ivania. Ivania Elizabeth. Ivania, Ivania Olmedo. Dijo que iba a estar de oyente, creo. Ah, ok. Jonathan. Here I am. Ok. Hold it. Please. José Armando Pacheco. Good evening, I'm here. Ah, today you're here, Jose Armando Pacheco Garay. Yes, Very well, yes. very early. Eh, eh, solo una, solo un detalle. Manuel? Ajá. Eh, sigo trabajando, así que voy a estar de oyente. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, but you're going to be, okay, listening to the class. Thank you. Jose okay. Manuel Mejía. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Manuel Mejía. Karina Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Karina Vanessa. Milagro Mabelin. Present. Thank you, Miss Noé. Ah, he's here. Noé. Hello, Noé Hernández. Okay, Noé doesn't answer. Serafín is here or in his way? Ah, oh, no, he's here. Hello, Serafín. Your microphone, Serafín. Activate your microphone, Serafín. Here I am. Uh -huh. Present. 
Okay, you are in the dark. That's why you don't find the, the part of the activation. William Francisco, hello. William Francisco, are you here? Um, okay, thank you so much. Okay, let's see. I'm going to check. Barbara. Eh, no, eh. Okay. So who is missing? Only Francisco Enrique. Okay. Now class that um, I shared with you, okay? The questions, tell me, do you have any problem with the vocabulary or something here in this slide that I can help you with? ¿Tienen algún problema con la estructura de estas preguntas? Con la información? Because in number seven, you have when do people celebrate Christmas Day? Christmas Day. And you have in number nine, when do people celebrate Christmas? And we have also, when do people celebrate Christmas Eve, okay? Do you remember the difference between Christmas Day and Christmas Eve? Una es 25th y la otra es 24th. Yes, and what do we celebrate in Latin America? Christmas Day or Christmas Eve? Christmas Day. No, in America we celebrate Christmas Eve. La víspera, ya, yeah, the 24th. Yes or no, in El Salvador and in Central America and South America, yeah, yeah we Correct. celebrate Christmas Eve. But okay, in, in Christmas Day is on December 25th, yes? In Europe, the USA, in Canada, people celebrate Christmas Day, yeah? In Latin America, we celebrate Christmas Eve, yeah? Uh, and the ninth teacher, it's December. In nine. What do you mean? The number nine. Ah, question. When the, do the people celebrate? Uh, December. It could be in December, or you may in say, December. yeah, in December. In December, because in you December, mentioned yeah. only, only the most. Sure. Yes, only okay. The mm -hmm. yeah. Only yeah. the most, yeah. Okay, very well. Now that we have clarified this situation, we're going to move to the breakout rooms and remember to ask and answer the questions. But I don't want one student to be asking. No, you take turns and you say, for example, okay, I'm going to ask number one and Veronica asks number two, Milagro asks number three and so on. Okay, the idea is that all of you participate in the activity. Questions or comments? Okay, let's move to the breakout rooms. And here we go. Let's verify how many. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Now, at this moment, I'm going to open the, let me check, let me double check. Mm -hmm. What's happening here? Hey. Oh my God. I don't see, ah, okay. Here. Three, 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 and three, finally, okay? So the, in each group, you're going to have three, three partners, okay? Three students in each team. Let's participate. Here we go. Okay. Go to your groups, please. The invitation has been sent. Se les ha enviado la invitación, okay? Go to your groups and practice speaking. Go to your groups. 
and practice speaking. Vanessa Nunez, I need you in group number two. Thank you, David, let me see. Ivania, I need you in group number four. And Noe, I need you in group number six, okay? I sent you the invitation. Please join. I'm going to verify maybe you are already in the groups. Thank you. Yes, sir. Tomorrow. Oh, here, Jonathan and the partners Hi. happy because you shared the, the screen. Hi, okay, I'm huh? Uh -huh, yes. <laughs> okay. See you. Okay. See you. Eh, permítame entonces. Okay, here Clelia and Barbara. Very well. And who else was here? Ah, Vanessa. But, uh, yeah, okay. She is, no, pero Vanessa eh, la vamos a unir en este momento. Tenía problemas de conexión. Mm. Está con dos dispositivos. No sé cuál será el problema. Entonces, Bárbara se está oyente. Ok. But maybe for a while you can practice in, in the speaking. Eh, Vanessa is here. Ok, bye. 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 December. Twelve. 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 December twelfth. Twelve. What? What time do you have lunch? Uh, what time do you have lunch? I have lunch at uh, uh, 20 o'clock. Mm -hmm. At 20 o'clock. Almuerza a la, la, la 20. La 20. <laughs> 20 horas. Hora militar. <laughs> Hora militar. But, but that should be dinner because 20 yeah. hours. Okay, 15, 8 p.m. So you say at noon, at noon, uh, at, at noon. ¿Cómo se dice? La 12. No at noon, at noon. At noon. Pero 12, licenciada, uh, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? 12. 12, at 12. 12. Ah, 12 o'clock. Pero al mediodía, a las 12 del mediodía, we say at noon. Okay. It is more noon. common to say mm -hmm. at noon than at 12. At noon, al mediodía, ya se sobreentiende, 12 en punto. ¿Ya? At mm -hmm. noon, ok. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Este, lo que vamos a hacer con las preguntas es, le vamos a hacer una pregunta a él y él le responde y, y así, ¿verdad? Una... Sí, así es, one and one. You take turns, ¿ya? De las que se les han compartido. Con información sí, real, con información real. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because see, porque ahí está the Independence Day in the USA. There's no other day. De ese día es okay. uh, the Independence Day in El Salvador. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh. Only no. one, two, and three is your own information because your birthday, you know, uh, the time that you have lunch may, may be at noon, at one, at twelve thirty, at eleven, at one thirty, or at two p.m. Yes. But the other ones have a specific information, okay? Es información real okay. para todos a partir de las cuatro en adelante. Okay, bye. Bien. Okay, Thank you. Bye. Este, puedes hacer ahí. Ahí, cuando la persona celebra el día de independencia en Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Okay. Eh... Puedo para ahí. Creo que sería on July 4th. 4th es correcto, teacher. Repite. ¿Cómo sería? On July 4th, si no me equivoco, teacher. Excelente. 
That's okay. it. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, please tell me. La pregunta número tres, ¿qué relación tiene con el tema que estamos viendo o solo es un repaso del anterior? Es, es que son las information questions. Acá. Ahorita lo que estamos uh -huh. practicando son las W questions. Sí, la, um, la WH question y tan, ajá, así es, y las prepositions of time. Como les dije, repaso general, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. ok. Sí. Yo no, aparte no lo escuché porque me conecté hasta después. Porque sería in para los meses, on, y ahí sí. Ok. Ok, okay José acá, Manuel. Acá tiene usted, por ejemplo, la, fíjese que uh -huh. acá tiene Christmas Day, Christmas. ¿Cuál es la preposición que va a utilizar en respuesta larga cuando solo dice Christmas? Acá busca y Christmas Day, acá está, es diferente la, la, la preposición la que utiliza. Ah, acá va, correcto. Okay, Por eso correct. van dos preguntas, ok. Ok, José Manuel, ah. las cinco serían. Ok. Eh, when do you celebrate the independence? No, no, no. Hello. Hello. Hola, Meli, ¿me escucha? Hola, sí, sí. Ahí, ahí, ahí está, Meli. El, 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 lo, la, la respuesta es mía. It's ah, on ok. 24 John. It's on, John 24, it's on John 24th. Lo escribe de esa forma, pero se lee John 24th. Okay. Pero yo como tomé de base esta, esta captura. Donde decía es que texto. así es, es que así se escribe. Pero cuando usted lo lee, lo lee de la otra forma. John 24th. Or oh, July 24th. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, se escribe de una manera y lo leemos. Ok, ya regreso porque William me necesita. De acuerdo. Okay. Uh -huh. ok, how can I help en, you? En, en, entonces sería 15 September. Así se escribe, así se escribe, pero se lee September 15. Wow. Ah, ah, se, se, ah. De uh -huh. cómo se escribe, cómo se lee, diferente. Ya, yeah. mm, yes. Mm, okay. Pues todos teníamos la razón, ahorita teníamos un, un debate de eso. Sí, porque lleva un orden uh -huh. para, para escribir la fecha, ¿verdad? Sí, porque la, la pregunta dice, when do you celebrate the Independence Day in El Salvador? Uh -huh. No, pues yo le respondo. September 15. Ajá. En September 15. Pero uh -huh. la escritura la escribimos uh -huh. en septiembre. Yes. Okay. Sí, porque ellos llevan oh. el día, el mes y el año. Okay, o sea, ahí se lo pide el formato a veces, ¿verdad? Se lo indica cómo quiere que lo escriba. ¿Ya? Ya. Yeah. Ok. ¿Qué time do you get back? Vamos con la seis. Ok. ¿Qué time do you get back from work? From, from work. Wrong word, mm -hmm. perdón. Mm -hmm. What time do you get back home from work? ¿A qué hora regresas a casa? Yes, after work. Mm -hmm. yes, at... Bueno, yo no regreso porque aquí estoy. No, but you don't <laughs> live there, but you don't live there. <laughs> Pero no vive ahí. Por ejemplo. Ajá, I get casa, back home. Ajá. <laughs> I get back home. Um, bueno, termino a las 5, sería at, at 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. Sí, porque a las 5 de la mañana termina su turno. Your shift. Ok, at 5 a.m. No. Cuando todos van saliendo, usted va regresando. No, 5 p.m., 5 p.m., teacher. No, y no yes. dice que esté en el trabajo. Pues. Ay, sí, no, no, que tiene sí, homework. Yo, homework. Yo en la casa, en la casa, ajá, home office. Ah, yes. <laughs> like At, me, I, like me, home yeah. office. <laughs> Está en pandemia todavía. No, yeah. estamos en home office. <laughs> ok, so uh, you say, uh, no, pero se incorpora a su hogar at five. 
Oh, Five one minutes. Oh, <ríe> no, oh, no, porque tiene que estar oh. trabajando. Uh -huh. no, no va a estar viendo tele. You're not going okay. to be watching TV, right? <ríe> ok, continue. That's why. No okay. sé si yo no regreso a la casa. Uy, vive en el trabajo, ¿no? Al revés, el trabajo vive en mi casa. <ríe> ok. <ríe> okay. Yeah, that's it. Ok, let me see. Next question, oh. William. Seven. <ríe> When do people celebrate Christmas Day? Ay, ese miedo. When do people celebrate Christmas Day? When do people celebrate Christmas Day? El día de Navidad, ¿cuándo es? Uh, on... <coughs> This, on December 25th. 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 25th, yes. 24 es el estreno. No, es Christmas Eve. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Christmas Eve. Pero como aquí no se aguanta la gente del 23, se empiezan a celebrar. Yes. <laughs> okay, see you. Bye. Celebrate Christmas Day. Mother's Day. To people celebrate Christmas Day. Vaya corregí ahí lo que tenía. Oh. There's. Okay. Bye. Y entonces el día de Navidad, Christmas Day, ese sería el que fechan. Ahí me confundí. Porque el, el when do you people celebrate Christmas Eve Day, ese sería el 24. El 24 la, la víspera, que sería 24. la víspera de Navidad. Ajá. El otro se sería que... el 25. No, no, no. Christmas Day es 25. 25. Ah, ok. Y luego, Christmas Eve Day es 24. Ah, ok. Y la when do you people sería in December. When, uh -huh. when do you do people celebrate Christmas? December. Okay. So you say in on December 25th, Christmas Day. On December 24th, 24th, Christmas Eve. In December, Christmas. Okay. Okay. In December. In December, people celebrate Christmas. La gente celebra Navidad en diciembre. Not in February or in March, ya. Yeah. Pero ahí lo que estamos viendo es el uso de las preposiciones, ¿verdad? Ahí es in. Yes. Okay. This Me avisan mi lugar. Sí, ahorita de Van Lenten Days. Y le... in, in debería ser, ajá. ¿eh? In, porque sí. estamos hablando de, de meses, de, in, de month. In December. Fears. Vaya Francisco, la siguiente. Repito, ¿no? Yeah. Uh, when, do, when do people celebrate New Year's Day? New Year's Day. Uh, um, January. January. Yeah. On January 1st. Yes. In, in, sería, in January. No, sería in. on, porque estamos hablando de fecha específica. On January 1st, como lo dijo Jonathan. Oh, voy, voy. Ajá, si fuera solo el mes, este, entonces si sí nos quedamos con in. In oh, January, yeah. sí. Ajá. On January the 1st. On, on January, January 1st. 
Yeah, that's it. Danny, this is your group, right? Yes. Okay, very well. So tell me, class, did you finish answering? Yes. Okay, yes. if I ask you, um, Guillermo, when is your birthday? Uh, uh, 12th day, March. Su cumpleaños, ¿cuándo es? My birth, el 12 de marzo. March 12th. March the 12th. My birthday is on March 12th. Yeah. Filomena, when is your birthday? My birthday is December 4th. On December 4th. On December 14th. Ah, 14. 14. 14. Okay. Danny, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is, is on December 12th. On December 12th. Very well. Guillermo, what time do you have lunch? On lunch is Tuesday. No. What time do you have lunch? ¿A qué hora uh, almuerzo? My lunch is 12. Y como decimos, uh, ok, a las 12 del mediodía. Yes. I have lunch at noon, at noon, at noon, or at 12 o'clock. I have lunch at noon, or I have lunch at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Filomena, what time do you have lunch? At it time. At 11 o'clock. I have lunch. It's no. I have lunch at 11 o'clock. Yeah? I love. I, I have. have lunch. I have. Like this. Okay. Look at this. Okay, here. I, I have. Lunch, lunch, 11 a.m. At 11 a.m. I, I have okay. lunch, lunch at 11 a.m. Or as Guillermo said, I have lunch at noon. Al mediodía, a las 12 del mediodía, at noon, exactamente a las 12, at noon. Difícilmente le va a contestar a alguien un native speaker at 12 o'clock. Eso es bien latino y, y bien centroamericano. Ellos dicen at noon. I have lunch, pero está correcto también. Uy, capital letters. I have lunch at 12 o'clock. Yes. A 12 o'clock. ¿Por qué? Porque a 12 o'clock podría caer en la duda si es at midday o midnight. Entonces decimos at noon, que es al mediodía. Sí. Yes. Okay. okay. Very well. And you, Danny? Danny, when do you have lunch or what time do you have lunch? Uh, I had lunch at noon. At have lunch. At one. At noon. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. Ah, the same. At noon. Okay. At, At noon. noon. At noon. Al mediodía. Okay. Okay. Very well. And you know the answer for who is your boss. My boss is blah, blah. Okay. Mi jefe yes. es blah, blah. And now we're going to get back to the main session room to ask and answer these questions in class, okay? Here we go. Yeah, let's get back.
Let's wait for the others. And now you are going to be interacting one another here in the main session room when all the people get back. Okay, here we go. Let's see, question number one. Guillermo, read question number one and say the name of the partner who is going to answer. Lea la pregunta número uno y dice el nombre del compañero o compañera quien va a contestar, okay? Your microphone, if you activate the microphone, Guillermo, we are going to listen to you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, what's your brief day? When is your birthday? And the para, question goes to? Para Serafin. Serafin, when's your birthday? My birthday is, is 5th October. Is on October the 1st. October. Very well. yes. October the 1st. Is on October the 1st. Thank you, First. Guillermo. Uh, Serafin, read question number two and say the name of the partner. Ahorita. Now. No, no, no. Right now. Yes. Ahorita no. Ahorita no. Right now. Right now. Right now. Excellent. That's it. Very well. Right now. <laughs> Estoy buscando en WhatsApp. Sorry. I got the pantalla. Okay, I'm going to read. I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to share. Okay, now read question number two and say the name of the partner. Uh, uh, what time do you, do you have lunch? Um, uh, Barbara, the, the question. Barbara, what time did you did you have lunch? Are you available, Barbara? No, she, I, I think she's not available. Ask the question to another partner. What college is? Huh? College Barbara. She is not available at the moment. No está disponible en el momento para poderle contestar. Diga el nombre de otro compañero, Serafín. Hi. Okay. Uh huh. Serafin, say the name of another partner. Serafin, diga el nombre de otro compañero o compañera para que le conteste la pregunta dos. Creo que perdió la conexión. No, he's back. El micrófono, Serafin, actívelo. Ahí sí. Ok, diga el nombre de datos. otro compañero o compañera. Ya, yeah, Clelia. Clelia. Ok, answer question number two for him. Mm. Ok. Clelia, what time do you have lunch? Um, at eight o'clock. Have lunch, not breakfast. A esa hora almuerzo. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh -huh. to have lunch. At 12 o'clock. Okay, or at noon. <laughs> now, Clelia, read question number three to another partner. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Who okay, is your so... boss? And the question goes to? Milagro. Okay. Hello. Question number three, Milagro Madeline. Okay. Eh, ¿Me la va a leer o yo la leo? No, you have okay. to answer question three. Okay. Um, my boss is Javier. 
Ok, Milagro Mabelin, read question number four and say the name of the classmate. Ok. When do, when do people celebrate the Independence Days in the USA? Um, Jonathan. Okay, uh, is is in July four. July, July, July the fourth. July, July the fourth. Okay, the now fourth. you, um, Jonathan, read the question. Okay, the uh, next to... question. Ask to Vanessa Muñoz. Nunez. Okay. When do you celebrate the Independence Day in El Salvador? Vanessa? In, in September 15th. Excellent. Very well. Congratulations. Now you ask the next question, Miss. Okay. Right now. Question um, number six. Ana Veronica, uh, what time do you get back home from work? Get back home from work at 6 p.m. Now, Miss Ana Veronica, read the next question and say the name of the partner who is going to answer. Question number seven. Okay. Uh, when do when do people celebrate Christmas Day, Filomena? Okay. Uh, December twenty five. 25th, very well, okay? 26th. Yeah, now you, Filomena, ask the next question. Read the next question and say the name of the classmate. Yes. Number eight. eight. Uh -huh. Number eight. We do people celebrate Christmas every if, day, if they Carlos Miguel. Okay. Carlos Miguel, when do people celebrate Christmas Eve Day? Mm, Eve Day. Um, uh, the Christmas Eve Day on uh, 24 December. December 24th. Now, uh -huh. you, Carlos Miguel, read the next question and say the name of the classmate. Uh, when do people celebrate Christmas? Uh, Christmas. Christmas. Hay muy poquitos. David. David Emanuel. In December. Okay, now Emanuel, read the next question and say the name of the partner. ¿Quién no ha participado? Eh, many people. Question number 10. Clelia, ya participó. Yes. You may ask the question to, let me see, Jose Mejia, Jose Pacheco, okay. Dani, eh, okay. Vanessa, Guillermo. Okay. okay. Guillermo, sorry. Okay, Guillermo. Uh, when do people celebrate New Year's Day? One celebrate day. One in January. January first. Guillermo. People celebrate New Year's Day on January the 1st, okay? 
Very January the 1st. Okay. Now, Guillermo, read question 11. When do people celebrate St. Valentine's Day? Se Guillermo, to say, no, you that? have to read the question 11. Okay. Tiene que leer la pregunta 11. Y Ahorita. dice el nombre del compañero que le contestará. When do people celebrity seven San Valentine's Day? Ajá, the question goes to para William. William, Francisco, when do people celebrate St. Valentine's Day? On January 14th. January, in enero, San Valentin, St. Valentine's no, Day. Perdón, perdón. <laughs> oh, February, February. I know your wife. Poor wife. Perdón. <laughs> La esposa. Okay, on oh, February 14th. Now, William, you read. The last question, I think, right? William, read the last question. Lea la última pregunta and you say the name of the partner. When do we celebrate Mother's Day? Mm -hmm. Para, ¿qué han falta? Ooh, you may ask the question to Vanessa, Jose Mejia, Jose Pacheco, Dani. Mm -hmm. Jose Mejia. Or Ana Marlene. Jose Mejia. Hola, hello. Okay. Repeat the question, William. William, Francisco, repeat the question, please. Got it. When do we celebrate Mother's Day? Uh, we celebrate Mother's Day on my thanks. Excellent. We celebrate the Mother's Day on May. Thanks. That's the way it is. Very well. Thank you. Congratulations. And now we're going to move deeper into the uh, feedback. And here we go. Okay. Now look at this. You're going to work with a partner. One and A and the other one is B. But here we're going to go over page 37, everybody, okay? And you are going to wanna scramble the words and describe them. So your partner guesses the name of the department here. You have to organize these letters in the correct order, okay? In order to uh, identify, okay? Okay which uh, is this department or area. And here you have to write the definition of what they do, what people do in this department or area. One, two, and three, okay? That is the first part. The second part, you are going to write six information questions using WH words provided. Then you have to ask them to a classmate, and write down the information they are going to tell you. Okay, what, blah, blah, when, blah, blah, where, blah, blah, and why, okay? You use your creativity and you have which. One question that begins with the word which, and one question that begins with the word who, okay? And you ask and answer the questions, and you write here the answer that your classmate gave you, see? ¿sí? Serán seis preguntas para repasar las WH information questions. Algo similar a lo que hemos estado viendo, ¿verdad? Lo que han estado trabajando y lo que hemos visto en la semana. Y escribirán acá la respuesta de su compañero o compañera. ¿De acuerdo? But you, as a group, you are going to create the questions or you may uh, get back and have a feedback. Okay, for example, here you have uh, three questions and here you have some other questions. Yeah, over here. Yeah, use your creativity. But remember, 
try to use the information related to your workplace, okay? The activities that we perform at work. We're going to work at page 37. Is it clear? Están claras las instrucciones, ¿sí? Hola. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, claro. Okay. Permítanme que vamos a reorganizar esto. Ah. Mm. Hay alguien que no me aparece acá. Mm. We see. Nana Marlene. Okay, here we go. Recuerden a construir las preguntas y las respuestas, pero organizar primero en el correcto orden las letras para saber cuál es el área o el departamento en una empresa, ¿verdad? Y a escribir las funciones, the duties that they perform at work. Pay close attention because I'm going to send you the invitation right now. There you are. Go to your groups, please. Go to your groups and practice vocabulary. David Emanuel, thank you. Uh, Vanessa. Okay, Noé, I need you in group number one if you are so nice. Sai. William Francisco, hello. Hola. Okay, Filomena and Jonathan. Let's begin. Comenzamos. Yes, ahorita. Pero vamos a una página 37. Yes. Sí, sí ya. La, la segunda palabra es por chance. Esta. Sí, ya, ya, la, ya se la escribió, pero. Porcha. La primera. Very happy. Porcha. Porcha. No. Okay. No, miren, no lleva Porchancing. N. No lleva N. Porcha. Porcha. Sí, lleva N. Sí, aquí va a estar la N. Porcha. Sí, 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 sí. Ok. Vaya, la primera la palabra. Tercera... Sí, no la puedo. Este. pero no. No yo para tres iba ya. Management. Va, sí, escriban man. purchase. Human. Miren, lleva ah. una N, entonces la N la lleva al final, no la lleva antes de la S. Y solo una N lleva, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá correcto. Ajá, sí, pues sí, no. Quita la N. Ajá, ajá, sí. Eliminate, sí. delete N. Ajá, purchasing. That is purchasing. Purchasing. Sí. Purchasing. 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 Okay, bye. Purchasing. Ok, el último, ese sí, management, pero lo primero no lo logro. Sí. Uh, um. No, no. No voy con esta. Con al, la inicio, algún... al, inicio, al inicio de la unidad. Comenzamos con esto, ¿se recuerdan? Ajá. Ok, bye. <risa> General feedback. 
<risa> Repaso general. Ah. Ah. Ok. Al inicio de la unidad van a encontrar ayuda, ¿verdad? Porque con esto iniciamos, si se recuerdan, ¿ok? Sí. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Si yo digo, si yo formulo la oración, where do you work? ¿Me estoy refiriendo a la, al nombre de la empresa o al lugar donde está la empresa? Where do you work? Ahí está preguntando por, por el, el, el nombre de la empresa. Pero si usted dice, pero si usted dice, where is it? ¿Dónde está ubicado? ¿Dónde queda esto? ¿Yes? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. sí. Porque ese lugar tiene un, un, esa empresa tiene un lugar, un establecimiento. Entonces alguien dice, for example, if you ask me, where do you work? I work at, uh, for example, at Walmart Constitución. Oh, y la gente se ubica, ¿yes? Ya no le yes, preguntan, yes. where is it, dónde está ubicado, uh -huh. ¿sí? Más específicamente, ¿ok? Le, le, le pregunto porque, por ejemplo, si yo digo, where do you work? Y digo, farmacia económica. Hay un montón, hay muchas farmacias sí, económicas. Sí, pero entonces, which one? Ahí, ¿en cuál? Ah, okay, which, which one? one. ¿En cuál? Which one? ¿En cuál? Porque como hay, en un centro comercial a veces hay dos o tres de esas farmacias, ¿ya? Yes. Ok, yes. very well. Ok, sorry, because I need to go to group number four. They are calling me. Me llaman el equipo cuatro. See you. Ok. Oh, what can I do for you? How can I help you? Hola, Marlen. Marlen. ¿Y quién más estaba aquí con ustedes, Marlen? Marlene. Marlene, ¿me escucha? Ana Marlene. Hola, Marlene. Ivania. Ah, ella está teniendo problemas con la conexión. Permítanme ver si. Porque si la, si la envía usted a otro equipo. Me quedé solita ahí. Sí, uh -huh. eh, Ivania estaba con nosotros, salió y la otra persona solo era uno, solo es un oyente. Permita. Entonces la voy a mover a usted a otro equipo, ¿ok? Por favor, sí. Sí. Sí, porque como la plataforma gira los de acuerdo a la cantidad de participantes, ¿verdad? Uh, mm. sí, pero Bárbara me parece que solo está de oyente. Quiero ver. Entonces la enviaré a usted el equipo, sí. Ok. Ok. Ay, a la otra niña, a la otra niña mandé el equipo 5 también. La mandaré a usted el equipo 5 también. Ok. Ok. ¿Ya le llegó la invitación? Ok. Uh, here, hello, Jonathan. In this group, uh, you have some other participants, okay? Uh, Ana Marlene is going to be here with you. Participating people, Filomena, Jonathan, and William. Ana Marlene is part of this group, okay? From this moment. Okay. Okay. Barbara okay. is here, but she's not available. But uh, Ana Marlene is available, okay? So ask her. She's willing to participate. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. For the use of the organis, organis, organization. Organization. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
human resource uh, what do we we do you hold meeting mm -hmm. yeah, why why perdón why do you hold meeting qué quiere decir ahí por qué haces por qué hace reuniones Why do you organize meetings? Organize. Why do you organize meetings? Organize. Organize. Y la primera parte ya la organizaron. Ya solo tenemos problemas con José Pacheco que está de viento nada más y Daniel que se le corta la cada rato se le corta la conexión. Sí, él, él, él ajá. tiene ese problema, pero ya va a regresar. Pero... No, pero la primera sí, parte ya, ya la realizaron. ¿Sí? ¿Un scrambling de the, the words? Yes, ahorita okay. estamos esta, con, formulando la pregunta. Es, ¿Y esto, la definición, ya lo escribieron también? Sí. No. Tienen que hacerla, ah, no, no. porque es acá los departamentos y acá, ¿verdad? Eh, okay, lo sí, que sí. hacen en cada departamento. Ok. Don't forget that. Cuando Dani regrese... Acá creo que está ya de regreso, cabal. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Let's wait for him. Daniel. Mm, le di acceso, mm. pero quizás se le cortó de nuevo la conexión. Porque no logró ingresar. Pero bien. Ok, so the question was... Why do you organize meetings? Yes? Yes. Okay, and the answer? Bueno, ahí eh, elaboren si gustan primero las preguntas y luego se las hacen entre ustedes para escribir la respuesta, ¿verdad? Okay. okay. Teacher, teacher, una yes. pregunta. Cuando yo me refiero a una serie de televisión, ¿es suficiente con crear series o tenemos que crear series of TV? No, de series. Serio, por ejemplo, uh -huh. este... Porque las de las películas son sagas. Ah, de verdad. Uh -huh. De saga. Uh, Danny is here. Ok. Ok. Por ejemplo, teacher, which is your favorite series? Series. Así, ah, fue correcto. Which is your favorite oh, series? Oh, which is oh, your favorite which series? Is, pero es que ser, pero, pero, pero series de televisión, pero hay muchas. Entonces, eh, por eso yo eh, pregunto. No, no, no. Usted le puede decir, which is your favorite TV series? Y le menciona dos o tres. Ah, para esta que... pregunta tengo que darle opciones. Así es, por eso se ah, usa okay. which. Porque si usted solo dice TV, uh, de TV series, hay cientos de series de televisión. Sí, Entonces, de diferentes cuando, géneros. Cuando, cuando tengo múltiples respuestas, es mejor usar what. What, what? yes. Por ejemplo, what, es... cuando tiene opciones limitadas. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. ok, muy bien. Thank okay. you. Ok, my pleasure. ¿Es apellido? ¿El apellido? Yes, last name. Mm. It's, it's last, last name Amaya. Es correct. My last name is Amaya. Excellent. My last name is Amaya. My last is name. Amaya. No, 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 no. Listen, escuche. My last name is Amaya. Uh, repeat, my, repeat. My last name, name is Amaya. Excellent. Very well. Okay. Eh, ok, ahora no sé, William, William está creo que todavía. Una pregunta con Gwen. No, oiganme, no, 
Aquí eso se lo escribieron mal. Porque what is your last name? Eso está correcto. Pero acá dice, escriba la respuesta. Ah, ok. My last name is Amaya. Sí. Eso es lo okay. que ella le dijo. My last name. Porque si okay. no es, esta, la respuesta es como que her last name is Amaya. No cuadra con, con la pregunta. Okay. My, your. Ok, your, my. Ok. Ok, continue. When do you when do you work? Cuando trabajas, when do you work? Y quién va a contestar la pregunta? A quién les, le va a hacer la pregunta? Ajá. Uh, Bárbara. Bárbara. Uh, ¿Quién faltaría ahí? And you are building the questions. Yes? Están construyendo las preguntas. Sí, ahorita estamos okay. formulando. Correct. Excellent. Sí. Va, esto dijo teacher, mire. Sí. Why don't? Why? No, okay, Why? listen, listen. Where is your company? ¿Dónde está tu compañía? My company uh -huh. is in Cabañas. Is. Uh -huh. Is in Cabañas. Uh -huh. Okay. Y, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, that's correct. ¿Quién contestó la pregunta cuatro? Nosotros, ahí está. No, pero ¿quién, quién formuló la pregunta? ¿Quién construyó la pregunta cuatro? Yo, yo. ¿Y quién contestó? Los tres. Es no. que lo que ocurre es que primero estamos construyendo cada uno una pregunta Ajá. y la respuesta. Y luego nos vamos a intercambiar lo que es este... O sea, alguien pregunta, alguien responde. Pero Ajá. para no determinar toda la tarea, nos hemos dejado uno cada uno. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. es, yo, yo creí que ya, las habían, ya habían tenido la práctica oral. No, estamos haciéndolo porque la de arriba nos consumió tiempo, la de descifrar la palabra. Ok. Y poner qué, qué significa. Que, que, ajá, ya. Yeah. I know. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, but let me see why the potential. Ok. With... Vaya. So, ah, pues yo voy a hacer la de Humil para terminar. Vaya, ahorita estoy viendo la otra. Ok. Which uh, yeah, I don't 
Si es la de A, esa es la última. Quiero ver which, which, which. Mili, ahí. Hola, it's your favorite. Favorite color. Black. Well, the second question, uh, Daniel, when do you check, check reports? Cuando hago reportes, reviso reportes. Cuando revisas reportes. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, sería un Monday. On Mondays, on Mondays, los lunes. Ah, en plural, Mondays. ¿verdad? On Mondays, ya. Yeah. Ok. Y... Ready. Hello. Ok. Yo también ya estoy. Ok. Um, las las hacemos ¿Ya? sí si gusta ok perfecto vale pues um, voy a compartir pantalla vaya uh, what time what time do you go to work Okay, um, at uh, eight clock, eight o'clock. Ah, uh, okay, me equivoqué. Ah, okay, respuesta dijiste. Eh, at eight o'clock. He he do solo la respuesta at, que le han dado at eight o'clock. Ah, at porque ahí dice la respuesta que le dieron es la que tiene que escribir. At ah, eight o'clock. Okay. At eight o'clock. O'clock. Teacher. Um, yes. ¿Y cómo podría ser la aquí larga, digamos, por ejemplo? Este. I go, I go to work at eight o'clock. Oh, okay. I go okay. to work at eight o'clock. Okay. okay. When, when is your next vacation? Uh, my next vacation. My next. Um, my next vacation in November twenty. 22. My um, next vacation is on November 22nd. November 22nd. Porque está diciendo okay. la fecha. Sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí. Solo si dice el mes, recuerde, es in. Pero si menciona sí, la fecha, sí, ya es on. Ok. 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 Um, what is your job? Where is your job? Uh, my job is um, uh, manager marketing. No, where? Where? Donde, donde, where? Uh, location. Okay. Donde location. queda? Donde queda? Um, my job. Mm -hmm. Is eh, San Miguel? In San uh -huh. Miguel. In San Miguel. 
Yung San Miguel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, ahí en Y, si no, no escribí ninguna, no, no encontré qué preguntar. Pero voy a pasar a la siguiente. Este... Why, 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 for example, why do you work in San Miguel? What? Because I live in San Miguel. Why do you work in San Miguel? Yeah. ¿Por qué trabaja en San Miguel? Ajá, uh -huh. or, because, like my, or, or San Miguel. because I like the weather in San Miguel. Me encanta okay. el clima en San Miguel. I love the Why? weather in San Miguel. Okay. Why do, My, uh, Why do you work, work in work San Miguel? In San Miguel. Uh -huh. okay. De ahí, who is best friend, por ejemplo, el último. Who eh, is your best friend? Who is your best friend? Best friend. Mm -hmm. my, my best friend. friend is yeah who is your best friend mm. my best friend is in the case of Daniel is your father his father his father okay his father Guillermo his brother and I my best friend is Tony Tony, ok. Y es ahora relative, no es pariente. No. Ah, ok. Friend. Friend. Ok, good. Friend. Ok, continue. Okay. Okay. Hoy, hoy vamos a la primera parte, Ticha, porque nos brincamos a la primera parte. Ok, go and do it fast. You okay. can do it fast. Yes, este, vamos muchachos, work with a partner. One is uh, in the other world. Mm -hmm. No, 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 hold it, hold it. No. Uh, show me why. Okay. Why are you happy? Why are you happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are you happy? Why are you that are there? Mm -hmm. Why are you? Por qué estás feliz? Um, which shirt do you like? I like the green shirt. I like the green shirt. Who is your name? My name. Anna. Uh -huh. Where do you live? I live in San Martin. May I see number one and number two? Okay. okay. What is your last name? My last name is Amaya. When do you work? Mm, I work tomorrow, yeah? Or I work uh, every day. ¿Cuándo trabajas? Todos los días. Okay. Okay, no, but that's correct. I work tomorrow. Mañana trabajo. When do you work? Tomorrow. Solamente la 30. Y... Ya hicieron las preguntas. La 37. ¿Sí? Todos hicieron las preguntas. Permítame, quiero ver en la primera parte del ejercicio. Production, purchasing, human resources management, control and supervise the production, workforce and inventory. Buy and acquire. Uh -huh. Buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. And here, human resources. Yeah. Resources management. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Very well. And here, uh, did you ask and answer the same questions to everyone? Hicieron las preguntas para cada uno? Sí. Okay, and if I say, and if I say uh, William. Hello, William. Okay. William, why are you happy? Because I have a family. No, another answer. Porque no todos van a decir. Pues él lo respondió. Ah, él lo respondió. Okay, <laughs> thank you for the clarification. Now, uh, Filomena, why are you happy? Uh, 
Hello, Filomena, why are you happy? Because... Les estoy diciendo porque así tienen que haberse hecho las preguntas todos, porque así lo vamos a hacer en el main session room. ¿Verdad? Ustedes le van a hacer sus preguntas a otros compañeros y ellos les van a hacer otras preguntas a ustedes, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Mm, sí. Porque no son las mismas preguntas. You use your creativity, ¿ok? Eh, okay. Filomena, why are you happy? Because? Because I have... Um, because I have a job. I am, because I have health. I am healthy. Porque health. estoy saludable, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay, yes. I am or because my family and me are healthy, porque mi familia y yo estamos saludables, yes? Yes. That is a reason to be happy. Thank you. And uh, this is a general one, very well. Jonathan, where do you live? Uh, I, I live in San Martin. Oh, really? And that is your answer. And Ana Marlene. Yes. Marlene, what is your last name? What is your last name? My last name is Andrade. Okay, very well, excellent. And uh, I will stay uh, here. Filomena, who is your neighbor? My neighbor uh -huh. is... Lydia. Excellent. Very well. Okay, we're going to get back to the main session room. Thank you so much for the practice. Very well. Thanks. Okay, get ready with your questions and answers because now you are going to be asking people from other groups, the different questions, okay? Only one representative from each group. And you choose one question, okay? Let's wait for the others to come back. Okay. okay, here we go. In group number one, we have Ana Veronica, Madeline, Noah, and Serafin. In that group, I need one volunteer in order to ask one question to any other classmate in the class. Choose your question and say the name of the other partner. Who is going to answer? Si usted, una pregunta nada más a un compañero de otros grupos. Okay. okay. Uh, what do you do, uh, Guillermo? Guillermo, what do you do? Guillermo, where are you? Guillermo. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Okay, what do you do? What's the question? Oof. Okay, Ana Veronica, ask me the question, please. What do you do, Guillermo? No, you ask me the question. You say, Irma, usted me hace la pregunta a mí. What do you do, uh, teacher Irma? I am a teacher. I teach English. Now you repeat the question to Guillermo. Guillermo? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. I, I supervisor. I am a supervisor. Very well, thank you. Thank you, Miss Veronica. Now, in group number two, we have Carlos Miguel, Clelia, Jose Mejia, and Vanessa. I need one student from this group to choose one question and ask the question to somebody else, okay? Who's going to be that participant? Okay, Carlos Miguel, ask the question and you say the question goes to. Okay. When, when is your next vacation, Milagro? 
Um, my vacation is October. Is in October. Is in October. Okay, now, Miss Milagro, Mabelin, you ask the question to another partner. Okay, choose one. Ah, but you belong to the same group, right? Uh, with uh, Miss Ana Veronica. So we are Sorry. over. Uh -huh. Now let's see. In group number three, we have Dani, Alberto, David, Emanuel, Guillermo Antonio, and Jose Pacheco. One of you is going to choose one question and ask the question to the other partners. Who's going to be? Emanuel, Dani, or Guillermo? Hi, teacher. Okay. Ask the uh, question and choose your victim. <laughs> uh, Milagro? No, because she already answered. No, no she's ah, very answer. popular, but puede, no. Puede, Ella ya, ya contestó. Puede preguntar otra vez, entonces. Pregúntele a otro compañero o compañera, okay. pero no a Milagro. Uh, José Mejía. Mr. Mejía. Okay. okay. Uh, where do you work? Where do you work? Yes, where do you work? Uh, my work in San Miguel. I work in San Miguel. I work, I work in... in San Miguel. Okay, thank you so much. Very well. And now in the other group we have Ana Marlene, Barbara, Filomena Luz, Jonathan, and William. Okay, guys, who's going to ask us the question? En este equipo, ¿quién hará la pregunta? Ana Marlene, Barbara, okay. Filomena, okay. Jonathan, or William. Okay, Miss, Hi. ask the question. ¿Quién hará la okay. pregunta? Okay, Marlene. Me, teacher. Okay. okay. The question goes to Carlos Miguel. Carlos, get ready. Ready. Okay. Why are you happy? Why? Why are, are you happy? Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Uh, um, <laughs> I received <laughs> English class. <laughs> uh, I am happy because I am taking the English class. Ten. Okay, now listen, I need you to activate the cameras because I'm going to say your names for attendance number two. Para el segundo llamado de asistencia, I need your cameras on. Necesito activen las cámaras, please. Okay, everybody. Ana Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Verónica. Present. Great. Barbara Susena. Barbara. Okay. Carlos Miguel. Present. Great. Clelia. Present. Thank you, me, Clelia. Dani. Present, teacher. David Emanuel. Present. Excellent. Filomena. Luz Filomena. Present. Thank you, Miss Luz. Francisco Enrique. Absent. Okay, Francisco absent. Um, Guillermo. Present. Okay. Ivania Elizabeth. Okay, thank you. We listen to you. Jonathan. Thank you. Jose Armando Pacheco. Thank you, sir. Jose Manuel Mejia. Present teacher. Okay. Karina Vanessa. Thank you, buddy. Mabelin. Present. Okay, Mabelin is present.
Noé. Present teacher. Okay. You, Serafin. Hi. Present. Will, William. Okay. Congratulations, class. You did a good feedback. And now the second part of the feedback. Here we go. At page 38, it is kind of similar, right? I didn't ask you about this because you already know and you had the answers correctly. I was checking when I was monitoring in your groups here. Again, the second part, you know what to do and how to do it, right? Saben que hacer y como hacerlo. Here, you are going to unscramble this uh, uh, departments in the companies and here you are going to write the definitions of what they do in each of these departments or areas. And here, you are going to interview in activity number four, interview a partner about his or her. Remember, his for a boy, her for a girl. Activities on a typical day at work using information questions and prepositions of time. Por eso es que en el ejercicio primero alguien me preguntó, Miri, ¿por qué estamos hablando sobre who? ¿Qué no estamos hablando de las preposiciones? Le digo, sí, pero el repaso en general, las WH information questions y las prepositions of time. Okay, so here in the morning, for example, you have in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. And here about his or her activities on a typical day at work, not at home. What do you do in the morning? Okay, what do you do in the afternoon? What do you do in the evening at work, obviously? And then you say, uh, for example, at 8 a.m., what do you do? I arrive at work at, or at 7.30, I have a breakfast um, in the office or in the cafeteria at work, or I don't know, okay? And in the afternoon, what activities do you do at work? And you say the time, and you say the activities, okay? And in the evening also, and that's it. Explique. Lo que van a hacer, si ¿Sí? están claras las instrucciones? Hola? Yes. Okay, yes. now let's get back and interview your partners, okay? Recuerden, por ejemplo, Verónica interviews Serafín. Serafín interviews Mabelin and Mabelin interviews Veronica. Yes? So you can get all the information. Here we go. See you. The invitation was sent. Ivania, ¿en cuál equipo estaba? Ivania, ¿con quién? Ivania Olmedo. ¿Con quién estaba Ivania? Hola. No sé, teacher, porque perdí ah. con el... Perdió la conexión. ¿Con quién estaba Ivania? ¿Se recuerdan? En, en el primer grupo que me conecté estaba con William. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, porque es que hubo uno que, que desapareció porque perdieron la conexión, la mayoría. So I'm okay. going to send you with William group number five. Ok. Ok, there you are. Ya le envié la información. Noé se une a su equipo, por favor. Barbara and Jonathan. Jonathan, come on, go to your group. Jonathan. Jonathan, I need you in group number five. Thank you. Thank you, Noé. Go to your group. Group number one, Noé. Noé, go to your group if you are so nice, please. Welcome. Research. Research. Um, development. 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 Solo que en evening no sé qué poner. Porque es en la noche, ¿verdad? Sí. En the evening. Del trabajo. Es que Ajá. en the evening es eh, eh, tipo 4 de la tarde en adelante. Ah, okay. Ajá. Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Get ready to get back home. Makeup. Put some makeup. <laughs> yeah. 
Check ¿Qué? the clock, check the clock, verifico el. <risa> ya. Yeah. Ok, bye. Mañana. At, at sí, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. La primera parte ya la trabajaron, chicos. También se la saltaron. Y después la okay. van a... Ok. <ríe> es que el tiempo es bien corto, teacher. Sí, Entonces, sí bueno, yo le, 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 ah, sí, Empezamos con la entrevista. Okay, ok, great. Excellent. Continue. Thanks. Eh, other activity, Daniel, in the morning. Creo que este es. Según esto, tendríamos account number six. Es esto. No. Hay que entrevistar a sus compañeros. His or her activities on a typical. Uh -huh. Con, con la, un día típico, ¿verdad? En su trabajo. Mm -hmm. En su trabajo. Sí. Actividades típicas de su trabajo. Using information question and preposition of time. Hagamos tres actividades. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Mm -hmm. okay. Va. En la mañana. Y después intercambiamos la. In the morning. Um... Of club. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés eso? Sí. ¿Qué, David? Lo que dijo Daniel en inglés. Revisar mercadería, dijo él, ¿verdad? What? Oh, sí. Recibir mercadería. Recibir, eh, recibir mercadería. O materia prima. O, o materia prima. Sí, Dani, materia prima. repeat. Materia prima. Ah, receive, material. receive raw material, receive raw material, receive. raw material, okay. receive raw, raw, raw material, okay. receive mm -hmm. materia prima, materia okay. prima. Mm -hmm. is at two o'clock, okay. okay, at two o'clock. Ahora, Guillermo, in activity in the afternoon. Eh, check logistic truck eh, at three o'clock. Logistic truck at three o'clock. Trucks at three o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. 
Davi. Ahorita. Ok. Eh, I training staff at two o'clock. Train staff at two o'clock. Train staff at two o'clock. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. ¿Verdad que José Pacheco no, no está escribiendo en el chat, verdad? Solo está de oyente, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Si sí, no hay nada en el chat. Bye. Ok, in the evening, este, Daniel. No, sería ya tarde. Desde tipo 4 de la tarde en adelante. Ok. Eh, Ahí. Última. General informe. General informe. At General. 4 o'clock. Generate. Report. Ok. Uh, generate. Inform. Inform. Reports. Ah. Uh, Generate the daily report at four. At four. At four o'clock. Okay. Guillermo, your activity in the evening? Uh, this this dispatch of merchandise dispatch merchandise merchandise what time a uh, five o'clock okay. okay i i send emails at uh, four o'clock Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. Excuse me, ahí en off no llevaría off ahí en dispatch of merchandise. No, ya se sobreentiende. Sí, porque es la actividad dispatch merchandise. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, gracias. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Despacho mercadería en la sí. Mm -hmm. okay. Send emails. Generate the daily report yeah. at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hoy sí vamos a hacer la primera actividad, teacher. Okay. Great. Thanks. Tiene okay, su manual. Tiene su manual, Guillermo y Daniel. Do you have your yes. manual? Sí. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Vamos con la primera pregunta, con la primera palabra. Verónica, a las 5 p.m. Se me ha Así, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Falta eh, de staff. Tax team. Con el grupo. Eh, five o'clock, ¿verdad? Sí. Five. Five. Ten. Sí. Mm, de esta. Mm, de esta. Y ahí de agregar la forma ¿verdad? para el verbo. Y, Verónica y el trains the staff at 5 p.m. Verónica ¿Cómo? trains, trains sí, the staff at 5 p.m. No, trainings, no. Trains. Es que training es entrenamiento. O capacitación, hay una S. Doble N, train. Sí, es, no. esto era lo que es. Hace. Trains. Una S ahí, trains. Trains. ¿Así? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. De, de staff. 
at 5 p.m. Okay. El orden es el que tienen que mejorar. Eh, Verónica takes coffee break at 10 a.m. Es okay. decir, los elementos están ahí, solo es de modificarle un poquito el orden, ¿verdad? Porque después sí. del de, de, de sujeto va el verbo. Ok, y, e igual arriba. En las dos primeras. Okay. ok, y lo demás está bien. Uh -huh. Fíjense, le voy a decir. Cuando nosotros decimos eat breakfast, eat lunch, lo estamos diciendo en español. ¿Ok? Eh, eh, la frase es have lunch. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces sería, Verónica has lunch at 1 p.m. Uh -huh. Maybe has, in the afternoon. Porque la frase es to have lunch. Este sí estaba, entonces. Sí, esa este, es la correcta. Verónica, Verónica has lunch. Has lunch at. Este, con ese, Mili. Ahí el how no es. es la H-A-S. Quítele la S. Has lunch at. Ok. Y la corrige. Y miren, ya es hora de irnos. Yes. Ok. Bueno, ustedes lo hacen cada quien, ¿verdad? Y el lunes hacemos el reposo, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Está bien. Porque algunos tienen que trabajar todavía en la plataforma. Ok. Sí. Let's wait for the others. Okay, class, I know that some of, some of you in the groups didn't finish the activity asking and answering the interview because of the time, right? But we're going to continue on Monday because some of you need to work hard still in the platform, okay? And let's see. Let's wait for the others to get back. Esperemos que regresen los otros compañeros. Okay. Okay, listen guys. I was telling the, the other partners that on Monday, we're going to go deeper into the last part of the feedback, the general feedback that we had today. El lunes vamos a profundizar un poco más sobre el refuerzo de la segunda parte, que es lo que le lleva más tiempo de generar las actividades, sí, que vaya con el correcto verbo y el correcto orden de las palabras en la oración, sí. Porque es lo que nos toma más tiempo, pero algunos todavía tienen que trabajar en la plataforma esta noche. Thank God, just a few. Gracias a Dios, solo unos cuantos, porque congratulations, because most of you, as I told you at the beginning, got 100%. Ya tienen el 100% la mayoría. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, hoy le voy a pedir, a pedir a, um, let me see. Where is. Ok. Le vamos a pedir a. <coughs> A Guillermo, si se puede quedar un poquito conmigo, por favor. Guillermo Antonio. Hasta, hasta cerró los ojos, Guillermo. <ríe> Guillermo, no, sí. Es que okay, una, okay. un problema con el interino. Ok, bye, bye. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Happy weekend. See you Monday. Y recuerden terminar lo que viene en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, me entreguen el 100%. Good night. Guillermo, stay with me. Guillermo, where are you? Hello, hello. Okay, here we go. Bye bye. See you Monday. See you Monday. Don't forget the platform. Lo que me deben todavía tarea en la plataforma. Bye bye. Bye bye. Enjoy your weekend. Teacher. Yes. Antes de que empiece con Guillermo, le puedo preguntar algo. Sí, dígame. 
fíjese que le voy a, quiero ver si le puedo compartir la pantalla o darle vuelta a la cámara, quiero ver. Ah, aquí cuando yo tengo la, capturé la pantalla de, la, de, de una de las tareas de inglés, Ajá. yo tengo una duda, por ejemplo, esta pregunta, pregunta, she left London, March, March, 4 de marzo. Ajá. Este, yo, eh, no que sé ser si on. mal. Sí, on. On tiene que ser. Sí. Ah, yo, sí, porque, porque está, yo en esta... está diciendo, fíjense bien, usted Ajá. usa in cuando menciona el mes, pero como está mencionando el, el, la fecha exacta, entonces sería el 4, Ajá. ya sería on. ¿Sí? Ah, entonces cuando es fecha exacta es on. Sí. Ahí me confundí un poquito. Sí, porque ah, ah, incluso, mire, en el repaso de ahora acá está. Sí, sí, es cierto. Sí, mire, acá ve. Months, uh -huh. years, century. On para los días y las fechas. Y ahí cómo va la fecha. Y acá también desde ayer, mire. On for days uh -huh. and days. Sí, sí. Y ahí es la fecha el 4 de. Ajá. Ah, pues yo, yo, vi... the is on. Yo, yo pensé que me había equivocado y la plataforma me lo había puesto correcta. <risa> no. Pero le dije, bien. sin querer contesté bien, entonces, pero ya no me olvide, gracias, teacher. No, pero ahí está el esfuerzo, pero tiene que estudiar, okay. ¿verdad? Y se le comparte okay. la información, ¿ok? Ya llevamos bye, bye. Bye. Ah, Por eso es que voy el segundo chance de Guillermo aquí, lo vamos a repasar <risa> también. Ok, bye, bye. Bye, bye, José Pacheco. José Pacheco, bye bye, have a good See night. You. Bye bye. Monday. See you Monday. Bye. Um, necesito que se desconecte. Ok, here we go. Vaya, veamos. En estas estructuras estaba viendo que usted estaba presentando un poquito de problemas. Eh, para estructurar, por ejemplo, vaya, dígame las actividades que usted realiza in the morning. Eh, in January Inventory. Ok. Entonces, 9, at 9 o'clock. No, at 9 no, ¿cómo se dice 9 en Ah, inglés? perdón, 9, 9 o'clock. Ok, entonces usted, así como la agenda de Mrs. Robles, usted puede escribir 9, um, o'clock, check, ¿qué es lo que revisa? Inventory. 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 Ok. Uy. Here. Ok. Check inventory. Entonces usted ya cuando construye la oración que se lo va a decir a sus compañeros, usted le dice, vaya, in the morning, what do you do at work? Usted construye la oración y dice, I check Inventory at nine, okay, o'clock. At nine o'clock, sí. Entonces usted, esto es lo que usted le va a decir a sus compañeros, pero primero usted tiene que generar la actividad y la hora. Entonces, para construir la oración, el sujeto de la oración, el verbo, la actividad, la preposición, ¿verdad? Que es at para el periodo de tiempo y dice o'clock. ¿Por qué esto lo hace todos los días? Porque cuando, esto es un día típico. Ajá. Sí, cuando yo, cuando yo lo necesito. Ajá, ok, un día típico, ¿verdad? Porque podría ser, no es un día de la semana, sino que es un día normal. Ok, another activity that you perform in the morning? Otra actividad que realiza? Check a report. Eh, sería, perdón, eh, 10 o'clock, check report. Ok. Uy. Ten o'clock, check reports. Esto es su lista de actividades, ¿verdad? Que tiene que hacer primero. Y ahora, ¿cómo sería ya la oración que usted generaría cuando su compañero le pregunta? Ok. Another activity. I check report. Ok. At 10 o'clock. I check reports at 10 o'clock. 
Muy bien. Y esto es lo que usted le va a expresar. No le va a decir nine check inventory, no. I check inventory at nine o'clock. Ten uh, check reports, no le va a dictar eso. Usted le va a decir I check reports at ten o'clock. ¿De acuerdo? Así. De acuerdo. Muy bien. Eh, one more activity that you do in the morning. Mm, I check a troop, troops. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The time? Will 11, 11 o'clock, check trucks. Ok, 11 o'clock, check trucks. And then, y ya usted le va a reportar a su compañero. Mm, I check trucks oh. at yeah. 11 yeah. o'clock, ya. Yeah. Sí, at 11 o'clock. Esto yes. es lo que le va a decir a sus compañeros y ellos van a escribir esto. O van a escribir Guillermo checks inventory at 10 o'clock. ¿Verdad? Ellos escribirían esto. Mire, acá lo vamos a escribir. Ellos escribirían Guillermo uh, checks inventory at 9 o'clock. Esto es lo que ellos reportarían de usted, nos compartirían en la clase. If I say, for example, David and Manuel, what does Guillermo Antonio do at work in the morning? Ah, Guillermo checks inventory at nine o'clock, porque acá está hablando de las actividades de alguien más. ¿Quién es ese alguien más? Guillermo, ¿sí? Él me está reportando o nos está reportando al grupo de la clase las actividades que usted hace. Entonces, este es paso uno. Usted hace su listado de actividades. Luego, cuando le preguntan, usted dice, ay, bla, 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 ¿sí? Okay. Y el equipo reporta uh -huh, cuando describe las actividades que alguien más hace. Ok, in the afternoon, what do you do? I... Eh... One o'clock. Ok. Yes. Dispatch mer merchandise. Dispatch merchandise. Okay. Y entonces usted, ¿cómo, ¿cómo generaría esa oración? Ahí. Ajá. Ahí. Dispatch merchandise. Ahí. Dispatch merchandise at, uy, uh -huh. at one o'clock. Okay, hold it. I dispatch merchandise one at one, one o'clock. Okay, perfect. O'clock. Y así sucesivamente, ¿sí? ¿Comprendimos hasta ahí? Sí, ya me quedó claro. Ok, el correcto orden de las palabras. Entonces son tres en uno. Primero hace su lista de actividades, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Cuando le preguntan, usted estructura esto, ¿sí? Y si yo le preguntara a usted sus, las actividades, por ejemplo, de Dani, porque estaba trabajando con Dani, ¿verdad? Y con Emanuel. Entonces sí. usted me diría, Dani, bla, bla. Y acá, pero como usted me está reportando la actividad de una tercera persona, el verbo tendrá que ir con el cambio que se le agrega S, ¿sí? Six. Generalmente, ¿ok? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre esta actividad, David? Mm, no, ¿Ya está le bien quedó ahí. claro? Le quedó claro, sí. vaya, perfecto. Y acá con estas information questions, preguntas, dudas, con estas. Mm -hmm. Eh, esa la hicimos. Ajá, sin problema. Sin problema. Sin mayor problema. Ok, muy bien. Um, y acá con las preposiciones on, in, at, prepositions of time. Sí, ahí estaba, estaba uh -huh. un poco confuso, pero ya vi que se ocupa on en días, in en meses y at en horas. 
pero para, fe, para fechas utilizamos on, ¿verdad? Y para los días de la semana, ¿sí? Ok. Ok, y in para años, y meses. meses, las estaciones del año, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, ¿sí? Okay. Usamos at para horas, at noon, at night, at midnight, ¿ok? okay. Muy bien. Si no hay más dudas, entonces yo lo vi así un poquito dudoso en la última actividad, por eso dije, le voy a reforzar a él, ¿ok? Gracias, gracias. Sí. Ok, you. ok, have a good night, happy good. weekend, and see you Monday, ok? Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Have a good yeah. night, take care, Thank bye, you. bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.